I really do feel like your car and how you take care of it is an extension of the person, right? It's no different than showing up on time or early or whatever. And so making sure my car is always clean, regardless of the adventure that it may have been on, is just really that. It's an extension of what I'm trying to portray myself. I love something being clean, like nice, new, and clean is kind of my favorite thing. I just, I find it therapeutic. I love the art of cleaning something. I think it's the, the sense of self-accomplishment, you know, that you took something that was ugly and you made it pretty and you did it, you know, and you were able to do it. So it's, and then to drive off and catch a reflection in a building on the way home, you're like, I did that. I'm Jimbo, I drive a 2020 Toyota Land Cruiser, and today we're getting it clean. So when I was mobile detailing, I was very stuck to a location. And as I started to have kids and my wife, we wanted to do all these uh, adventures that we've been talking about. So I really had to try to figure out a way that I could kind of open up some additional revenue streams that would allow me to go do these awesome adventures. And so yeah, I have a podcast and, and a YouTube channel all about detailing, of course, because I love it. Um, but yeah, that's opened up a lot of opportunities to work with brands like Turtle Wax and uh, go on adventures like we just did. My family were kind of Volvo people. Um, and then I got a 4Runner, a Toyota 4Runner, and that's kind of where it all started for me with Toyotas. Just the reliability, the dependability, and the resale value of them were insane. And just decided to stay in the family. And really, when you look at the Toyota lineup, there's this is the top of the top. So it's a, it's a cool sense of, uh, of pride, I guess I have, that I worked from like a 2000 4Runner all the way up to a 2020 Land Cruiser. And the car is just crazy. So when we're in the dunes, we're getting thrashed all around inside the car. And then we go home to drive home last night. And it's just so nice. I got my heat seater on. The road is smooth. The ride is smooth. And it's just insane that you can go two polar opposites and still be comfortable the entire time. So that's actually something that this series has kind of unlocked for me in a way. It's like, it's okay that it's dirty, right? Cause I used to be like, oh no, it's dirty. Like that people are gonna think I'm a bad person. Like it's dirty and I don't like that and I wanna clean. But really getting it dirty and the, the experience around that really does make you a little bit prideful. When, you, when I rolled back home last night, I'm like, yeah, it's dirty. And like when I was driving it all through it, like I am really using it for what it's intended to be. So after the beach and dunes, we kind of had a bunch of stuff, right? We had that salt water, we had the wet sand, then we had the dry sand, then the winds were insane. So we were practically sandblasting the whole car and, and then driving it, it was just subjected to a ton of stuff. When you see East Coast cars that have gone through winters where they're throwing salt on the roads, it just, they become rust buckets. So I don't want this to turn into a rust bucket. Obviously I like clean cars and nice clean cars. And so it's really important to get all that off as soon as possible so it doesn't bake its way in. For my personal cars, I don't like to use a wash mitt when I wash them. So when it came to the soap of choice, we wanted to use max power because we could crank up the pH and I could foam it and let the soap do the work without mitting it and, and not having to worry about rubbing in any of that sand or salt or anything that we came in contact with yesterday. Really just let the liquid and the chemical do its job. We chose the ceramic wet wax because obviously you can't leave on a road trip without cleaning your car. So I just had a fresh layer of seal and shine on it. So it really wasn't, the goal wasn't to protect it as much as it was just to make sure that we were getting a really safe, clean wash. So what the ceramic wet wax does is it allows us to cut a little bit of time down because we could use it as we dry the car, but also add some extra lubrication so when you are drying the car, you're not scratching it. I've always been a sucker for shiny tires. I just love it. I think it's icing on the cake. I think that if you have shiny tires, it just completes the whole look. And I love the spray because with a little bit of an off-roady tire, it really helps to get in the nooks and crannies with the spray. With these kind of like matte black rims that are popular, they tend to dole out and kind of look ugly pretty quickly. So one day I was just kind of experimenting with products and I took Flex Wax and I sprayed it on the rims and I was like, 
wow, that actually works pretty well. No one talks about that. It's not on the back label or anything like that, but it gives an incredible matte kind of renewed finish to these, these rims. And I think that's one of the biggest problems with these matte black uh, rims is that they're exposed to so much brake dust that just kind of erode it. So just like the interior, just like the paint, you want to protect your rims as well. And Flex Wax is a great way to do that. We put stuff on the rack. It is for looks, but we also do use it too. So it gets beat up. So just like all the other areas of the car, we need to make sure it's protected uh, from whatever we may throw up there. As we were out there yesterday, your door's open or you're, it just the car's sitting. It's exposed to the sun and all the elements. So just like your car's paint, you wanna make sure the interior, whether it's the leather or the plastics are all protected with a UV protector. The delivery system of the leather mist is really what makes it cool. You don't, you wanna be able to get an even nice coverage on the leather to make it easier to wipe in and if you're using a traditional trigger you may get an uneven spray pattern and then it could lead to highs and lows in that conditioner on the leather seat. This is actually perfect timing because we could go on an adventure, come back and clean it up, and the next adventure starts in just two days. So we're heading up to Yosemite and Bass Lake uh, to go on another adventure.